Okay. Start the board discussions meeting at 4 30, December 21st, 2021. Nobody's here. I don't have anyone, I don't think. Nope. No. Oh. And got the minutes from November 16th meeting. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Erica said aye. <laughs> Uh, ARPA funding. We had a ARPA committee meeting. Uh, when was that? Last, last week, last Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. And the committee voted to recommend the purchase of a mini excavator for the highway department. And Board of Finance was briefed on that the same night. And it would be an amount not to exceed $100,000. I have the quote, and this is through oh what's source well and they take multi multiple dealerships so you get more than three quotes or bids and they come up with this number it was ninety thousand two hundred eight and ten cents but it was recommended by the equipment committee who also voted to recommend this project this excavator to add a couple things to it maybe extended warranty and a guard for the glass on the cab so when they're mowing, it doesn't pick a rock and then break the windows, which are like 800 bucks. But there's a quote for that. Okay. And there's the one they are looking at. And it's uh, very similar to the one that I believe Litchfield has. So we can uh, swap attachments if need oh, be. Okay. So we could borrow uh, something from Litchfield and vice versa. So. Any thoughts or questions? No, so we're using the funding, so it's no Morris tax dollars, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, motion to approve. I'll make the motion. I'll second that. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. By doing this uh, before the first of the year, if we get a purchase order in, we're going to save an automatic markup of $5,000 as of the first of the year, and who knows after that. And it's a f at least probably a four to six month wait before we get the machine too. Okay. So hopefully they'll have it in time for the uh, spring. Uh, CPACE, we received a letter from uh, Winvian, okay. Maggie Smith. They're interested in participating in the program, but the town needs to get on board uh, with it as well. I have sp I've, uh, spoken to our town council he has some concerns about it, about how it ties the town in and could be, you know, and possible litigation in the future, say someone goes bankrupt or whatever. And I did speak to Rebecca, our tax collector. She is doing it in another town and feels it's going fairly well there. It's not a problem. She's going to reach out to who she talks to at CPACE to Perhaps they can talk to us and you know, see what we think about it. I did respond to Maggie to let her know we we're looking into this and we'll be working on it. But it would have to be a town ordinance okay. uh, to get into this program with CPACE. So after I speak to Rebecca tomorrow, I should know more. And maybe we'll have the person come to our next Board of Selectmen meeting to discuss CPACE with us. and. Apparently, there's some leg legislation coming through that kind of keep gets the town out of. That's what Mike says. Yeah, a little the liability. The liability of this, which makes <clears throat> sense. Why should we be burdened with it? Right. You know. So we should know more by the next uh, board of selectmen's meeting. Okay. Opioid settlement. Uh, if you read in today's paper, there's a lawsuit that's getting settled and. Uh, State of Connecticut is looking at getting $20 billion off the settlement with Johnson & Johnson and I'm not sure who else. And they're trying to get all the municipalities in Connecticut to sign on for the settlement. Uh, right now, 85% of the money, if any money comes to the state, would go to the state of Connecticut. The 15% would be split up between municipalities, probably the most distressed municipalities first, which usually are the large cities. Right. There was no downside uh, to uh, joining this uh, group, according to Mike, 
our attorney. Uh, there's just no, it's not, doesn't mean we're going to get any money. And if we do get any money, it would definitely go towards the problem of opioid, uh, I guess, enforcement or treatment in Northwest Connecticut. So we would give that to. Yeah, it would probably end up going to maybe treatment centers or Greenlands or somebody that's actively counseling. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's no downside. It's just there's no guarantee you're going to get. So anything. let's do it because you know, if somebody like that gets more funding, that's good. Now, would you make a motion to uh, approve me entering into this agreement to be part of the settlement? Yes. I'll second that. Discussion, and it's due by January second. So. City of Waterbury has been actively pursuing us to sign on. They want more. Yeah, they want to get everybody. Yeah, well, surrounding towns and. The more they get, the more of the settlement they'll get. Good. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So move. Appointments. We have a few. Uh, Scott Popdecker and Pete Longer are both interested in the Lake Authority. Uh, Scott's term, I believe, would be November 1st, 2021 to October 31st, 2024. Pete Longo would be October 1st, 2019 to October 31st, 2022. Wasn't Scott on that already? We never officially got him on there. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> also with the jams coming up, yeah. uh, actually happening right now. Uh, or I really want to get this lake authority going again. Is he is somebody on it? Are there still seats, right? The, all the terms have run out. Okay. Scott Morris was on it. I contacted him. He's not interested at this point. Uh, I do have a few names of other people that may be interested. Those guys know anybody? I mean, they're like they're friendly. It'd be nice if the group just kind of took it and ran with it. Right? Yeah, they uh, Scott gave me a couple names, or maybe it was Peter. Uh, all right. So did you approve those two? Or, yeah, approve those two for for those terms. Yeah. You have those terms. Mm -hmm. I do. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. At the same time, uh, this board appoints members of the Lake Authority to the Interlocal Advisory Board for the Jams. And both Peter and Scott showed interest on in being on that, along with myself. The first selectman can be on it as well. Go for it. Is there a motion for? Tom White, Pete Longo, Scott Pepper to be appointed to Interlocal Advisory Board. So moved. Second. All those in favor. Aye. Right. Let Laurel catch up there. Got it. Okay. That'll help a lot moving forward. Uh, we had Ben Solna, very interested, and in, I think he'd be a great asset to the ARPA committee. Mm -hmm. to add him. Mm -hmm. So moved. Yes, yeah, so moved. I'll second. All those in favor? As a land trust representative? Uh, you could put it as that, but he's yeah, his focus is everything. Okay. Yeah, because the land trust is not looking for anything. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, Rob Schapp was interested in the EDC. Oh. Uh, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the next open term would have been uh, 12 different Laurel. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Economic. 12 uh, 2019 to 12 2 2019 to 12 1 20, 24. Correct. Yep. Okay. That motion. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's nice. These new people. That's like, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Ryan Taylor, uh, his term is up. We can put him back on for 12 2 21 to 12 1. 2026. Mm -hmm. Make the motion. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, did Maureen Doyle. Maureen Doyle to the library board, board trustees. Mm -hmm. Can we just appoint her? Yeah, the term ended. Oh. Okay. I'll make a motion. 11 17 21 to 11 16 27. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Do you have anyone else? Uh, that was it. Appointments, correspondence, we had. Oh, equipment committee. Oh, I, my point for that. Oh, that's right. Never mind. All set. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, 
tax collector's report. Yep, that was it. Which she's doing pretty well with 57.13% and moving into January. So we should start yeah. uh, really bumping it up between now and February. <laughs> No more course correspondence. No public. No public that I can see. No. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn at 440. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.